dead fish in the fish room. What the? Hello, fishy folks. I'm showing you my angel, my marble angel grouts with uh, skunk and solo because I'm about to show you a tank of guppies that has quite a few dead guppies in it. And I wanted to let you know, if you don't want to see it, check out another video of mine. Maybe I'll put a, a link somewhere right now for you to click on to look at another video. If you don't mind seeing dead fish and want to help me figure out why, stay tuned. Alright, so this is my gup, gup? My mutt guppy tank, not my gup muppy tank. And uh, you can see there's a couple bodies on the bottom of the tank. There's one in the moss. There's a couple floating. I don't, I don't know why. So first, the last time I had this problem, I had ammonia spike because my auto water chain system clogged. But I'm testing it now, and you can see water's coming out filter in the back that should be plenty of filtration um, there's quite a few fry so usually if the water quality is really poor you're not going to get fry to survive so the first thing I'm going to do is test my water stay tuned okay folks first I use test strips why do I use test strips because everyone on the internet says they're inaccurate well not everyone Corey from Aquarium Co-op uses them in his whole setup. Sorry about the ants, we have an ant problem in the fish room. Anyway, Corey from Aquarium Co-op uses them and he trusts his whole operation, his fish room, his store, his livelihood. That's pretty much enough for me. I was one of those people on Facebook when someone would say test strips, I would say get rid of them, they're junk. And then I tested them and I tested them with a against the API master test kit and I got the same results except it took five times as long as the dip strips. But we can see we are, I, I figured I'd have an ammonia problem because there's dead fish in there. So, you know, that, that green looks like, what, three, two, three parts per million ammonia. And then here, looks like we have nitrite. Yeah, a little nitrite, maybe maybe two parts nitrite. So maybe my cycle's all jacked up. So here's what I'm gonna do, folks. Nitrates are also quite high, which is interesting because I have those plant that moss in there. So here's what I'm gonna do, folks. Anytime I have a cycle that's jacked up, which happens every now and again for some strange reason, as everyone knows who keeps fish. Anything could throw the cycle off. As an example, I could have had a dead fish in here and not know it, and that decaying body caused an ammonia spike. That's probably what happened. Uh, especially because the lights weren't working. These lights weren't working for a while. And it just fixed them actually when I went to look at the tank. So here's what I'm gonna do, guys. I'm gonna take out all the bodies, do a massive water change, and I may even put an extra filter in here to help jumpstart the cycle. So I'll be back. Maybe you'll watch me clean up, I don't know. Okay, I siphoned out the bottom and Part of that was to get some of the dead carcasses as well as the remains of dead carcasses um, and I have to let this settle because I'm sure I sucked up some fry because there's legitimately a ton of fry in there which strange considering the water quality is pretty piss poor so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, do a water change by adding clean water and overflowing uh, into the uh, sump uh, because I don't want to keep um, sucking up fry so 
We're going to do that probably a couple times today to get the water quality better. While looking at my mutt tang, there are quite a few pale uh, uh, guppies, but there are some pretty cool looking ones as well. Uh, some nice crosses, so yeah, that's what we're going to do now. Hang tight. All right, fishy folks, I don't know exactly how much of a water change I did, probably about 30-ish percent. We're gonna check the ammonia again. I've cut the test strip in half to save some money. I should do that and leave them all in the can, but I don't. This way, when I need a dip strip, I pull it out, it's already in half. Whereas usually if I'm checking water at this point, it's because there's an emergency like this. So I don't stop and go, let me cut that and save, you know, a dollar. I'm cheap, but I don't know why I don't do that. So, anywho, let's dip it. These dip strips for ammonia, you put it in there for uh, 10 seconds, and I wasn't counting, and you pull it out and read it immediately. You just place it against your chart. So right now it says it's at uh, 0.5 Maybe 0.5 or one part per million ammonia, which according to this, 0.5 says safe. One part per million says stress. I kind of think one part per million is high, 0.5 is high. Um, usually it's not deadly, but it's high where it's gonna cause the fish uh, pain, maybe, maybe trouble breathing. So I like zero, but We'll come back later and probably do uh, a couple more of these water changes. I just can't believe how, much, how many fry are in there for such poor water quality. Um, I guess it's one of those things, right, where they're tough fish. Who knew? I breed some tough, some badass guppies. No. Yeah, hopefully some of these guys will get their color back because a lot of them are pale. Let me show you what the tank looks like. Hold on. All right, fishy folks, here's what we look like after the water changes. You can see debris on the ground, a little mom left for the, uh, the fry to munch on. You can see lots of fry, fresh fry, like from today or last night, maybe. No, that's what the tank looks like. Really, uh, really no worse for the wary other than the Java moss is kind of all balled up and there's a little moam spread out. So, there you go. Now we're going to test for ammonia. Alright, fishy folks. Here we are five hours later um, from when I found the dead guppies. Total of nine uh, dead guppies tested my water and I had high ammonia. And that led me to do massive water changes. And I just want to check my water right now and see how it is. So I have a test strip here, which looks like it's not good anymore. I'm going to open a brand new fresh one. You know, I cut that other one before and I put it back in here and now I can't find it. So, oh, oh look at that. Ta-da. Love it when that happens. All right. So the test strip is very simple. No two, 10 drops of this, 10 drops of that. Dip the strip in and count to 10. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Pull it out and check. So if you can see, focus. Focus. Yeah, you can't see. So we're at about 0.5, somewhere between 0 and 0.5 ammonia, which is much better than where it was, which was about 2 parts per million ammonia. Um, these test strips say 0.5 ammonia is, what's the word they use? Safe. 0 is ideal, 0.5 is safe, 1 is stressful. I like zero. We all like zero, right? Zero ammonia, zero nitrites. Under 40, under 20 nitrates. Discus owners might say zero nitrates. You know, they're crazy, those discus owners. So, looks like we're out of the woods. You might say, hey, why didn't you dose with prime like you 
recommend on, on uh, YouTube all the time. Typically when I, I recommend that, it's when somebody has one tank. Maybe they're going out for the day, they're going to work, or they're going to bed. I knew I would be able to do, you know, a variety of water changes on this tank uh, throughout the day because it's Saturday and I'm off. Um, the other thing, you know, I mentioned I have a spare filter in other tanks. I have spare filters in other tanks. Why don't I use one of those? Well, again, I knew I would be able to fix the problem today in a couple hours. Um, and so this, this tank, the fish might be weak now from being sick. Let's just say they get another disease or another disease is, is in the tank. If I put another filter in there, that's going to affect the other tank, you know, losing that filtration. And then I'm going to have to worry about cleaning that filter a second time, you know, cleaning it out, which I don't really want to worry about. So um, the reality is I knew I'd be able to fix the problem in a couple hours with water changes because I was home and I could do that. So, uh, so now basically we're going to watch the tank. Uh, I probably won't... Um, be sailing any fish out of this tank anytime soon. I want to make sure everybody's healthy. Uh, in a couple days, if everybody's good, I'll probably continue to monitor and see if I see any signs of disease and dose meds accordingly for that. So that's that's the guppy mutt tank shocker of the day. Can I think of any better name? Um, so yeah, that's that. Everything else in the fish room, which is a disaster, is pretty much uh, the same. Let me give you a quick tour. Hold on. All right, marble angel eggs. Uh, yesterday, when there, when all the methylene blue was in there, I swear I had a whole thing of wigglers. You can see some have fungus up because I did some large volume water changes to get rid of most of the methylene blue. Because when you have wigglers, you don't want the methylene blue in high concentrations in there. And not sure what happened because there weren't wigglers. I, I must have just not seen them right. But these are the blue angels, the blue zebra, and blue marble rainbow angel fry. Let's see what do you got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, maybe. Growing out, doing nice. I gotta feed them. Here's uh, some marbles in here. Yep. Um, what did I want to show you over here? Whoa. Oh, yeah. The Fluball Filter follow-up. Ooh, Fluball Filter follow-up. Maybe that'll be Friday, Friday, Friday. But uh, it's still here. You know, it's only the next day, so. Uh, it's still here. It's working. It's working great. I mean, I don't know. It's not leaking and water's coming, being sucked in there and pushed out here, so I guess it's working great. We'll see. Here's my big gold ram looking for a female. Um, yeah, so. Tomorrow I'll be selling some of these red German tucks to my local fish store and some green cobras. I do have plans to move these uh, platies into the Big 55 down low. And um, I don't know what I'm going to put in that tank. I may bring him a couple of these just to see if he likes them and what he would give me for them. Because these are fantastic. I mean, look at this. Look, look. They are gorgeous. Look at them. Oh, dog hair. So yeah, that's what's up, peeps. Look at the uh, look at the reflection. Look at the mm, koi swordtails. I know you guys were saying it. Lots of little fry. Oh look, I I didn't remember I had that extra filter in there. See that? Uh, lots of fry, lots of males. You can see lots of swords in there. So. Looking forward to growing these guys outside in the summer, as soon as it gets warmer. That's going to be a project, and perhaps uh, some of these green cobras outside too. So, Alright guys, I think that's it for now. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Hope everyone has a great day, and a good Sunday. See ya! not a fan of finding dead fish in the fish room are you all right fishy folks here we are about five hours later from when I found uh, what in turn turned out to be uh, yeah all right fishy folks here we are about 
uh, five hours later, which turned out to be nine dead guppies and the carcass of at least one, maybe two. And that caused my ammonia to spike. I don't know, let's, let me rephrase that. Maybe the ammonia spike was due to one dying or two dying, so I don't really know. What the fuck am I trying to say? 